Well, folks, in this episode of New Mexico that you just watched, I had with me Bruce Pettit, who is the president and CEO of Leupold. Today, I've got with me Tim Lesser, who is the VP of Product Development at Leupold. And Tim happened to be in Bozeman, so I said, you know what, let's come over and talk about spotting scopes because people saw me using these. These are the two spotting scopes they saw in that episode. And there's reasons you and I talk a lot about why, how we end up, where we end up using what we do for certain practice and application. And, and for me, I wish that you could find a spotting scope that was 80 millimeter that weighed eight ounces, but it doesn't happen. So in the early part of the episode, when, when we're not carrying our big day packs and loads, what is this like? That one's like right at 61 ounces. 61 so ounces, which 60. for an 80 millimeter spotter, that's pretty light. That right? is, yeah. A lot of them are in the 90s, 80s and 90s and yeah. so. So this goes 20 to 60 power. And you would see in the, in the scouting day, this is the spotting scope I was using and we're looking two miles away over there, low light, dialing up elk in the brush. Yep. And that's, that's great if you're not hiking a long ways. But, you know, 60 ounces, what did you say, 60? That's 61. 61. Yep. So still pretty lightweight for 80 millimeter, but probably my compromise between something really, really small. Right. Is, what is this 60 millimeter right? So yeah, this is a 12 to 40, uh, a 60 millimeter objective, and it's 37 ounces. Yeah. A 60 millimeter spotting yeah. scope that only weighs two and a half pounds. Yep. So that's why when you saw us hunting, the morning we're glassing, I'm sitting there with this thing just gritting, looking, spotting bulls like crazy. <laughs> and here's the exciting part, Tim's coming with me on that hunt this year. That's really exciting, especially for me. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that. That's gonna be a blast. But for me, this 60 millimeter is the greatest compromise I can find across any, any spotting scope that's out there for a weight to magnification to objective lens. It is, and you know, this one's been been around for a while. Obviously we improve as we go forward. This one, without getting into too many of the specifics, is a, is a spotting scope that's on contract with US military. Yeah. Um, and it's because of that size and weight, you can keep it with you all the time. And it's also nice and short, so you're right. not taking up a ton of room on the on the pack. So you'll see a lot of spotters using this because of those same benefits. And and I, you've probably noticed in cold weather, the longer eye relief, you don't have to get close enough to the right. lens that you warm yeah, it up yeah, and freeze yeah, it. Yeah, yeah you, know, you get the moisture on it that then freezes the second right. you step away from it, so. So you guys have been, somehow, somehow you figured out how to take what is normally a long tube. Yep. And get it to be this short, compact, lightweight. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, with, with any optic, uh, the longer they are as a general rule, the longer they are, the easier it is to make the image good. Mm -hmm. And that's because you've got light rays that come in and hit a lens, and then they bend, right? That's right. how you enlarge them or, or shrink. Mm -hmm. um, and the closer the, the lenses are together, the steeper that angle has to be, to and it makes it. everything more likely to get out of balance, right? right? So the light rays don't converge right where they need to. By doing this, what we've done is you've got the, the light comes in here, comes all the way across this plane, is reflected up over here, and comes back down this plane. So you've got this distance, plus that distance, plus all of this added together. So if you stacked that up, this scope should be about that long. Yeah. And so you get the optical performance of, of one of those big, long tube type super, scopes, super but it's in this, we call it a folded light path, um, okay. but it's in this shorter design so that you can leave it on your on your tripod, flip, the, put it right back in there and it's not overwhelming when, yeah. you're, when you're out moving. So another gold ring and it, everything's personal preference, but among your lineup of spotting scopes of this 80, this 60, and then I have my other one that is a 50, my little mm -hmm. one, my little job. It's a 15 um, to 30. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is the one that gets a lot of use for, for backpack hunting. Yep. Antelope hunting, when I'm not hiking a lot, Absolutely. this one. Or if it's just scouting days, this one. So anyhow, folks, these are the spotting scopes we use. That's why we use them for certain situations. And if you're looking for a spotting scope and you say, Randy, I can't buy three spotting scopes, you're probably gonna end up with a 60 millimeter. I would agree, absolutely.
Thanks for watching, folks.